Hello everyone, Steel Finite here. Today we're gonna be learning how to record and edit a mood edit. So um what we're gonna go to first is we're gonna go to YouTube and find some footage. So usually things come out with a sad part of footage or some exciting footage where you would do stuff like when he wakes up in a dream and like that. So that would be a good place to go, or go on somewhere in a beach or something. And that's where uh, most mood edits like to start. So once you find the footage that you want and you get it off whatever you need to, you're gonna go here and you're gonna find something to um, listen to for the music. So you generally want lo-fi. That stuff's amazing for the type of um, transition effects. So just go over here and you can listen. So like right here, this is a good place where you can start, all right? And it's gonna be about 30 seconds, so you can go through here, and you like I guess lower and stuff. So we'll use that. So um, once you find the video and music that you want, you come out here and go into After Effects. So um, After Effects is really good because it's so many you can change so many things about it. And if you do, if you are trying to edit stuff, I recommend getting Jnart Sapphire because that stuff is the best stuff for effects and everything. So now that you're in After Effects, you can go ahead and start a new project. Um, when you're doing low fee, you want to actually, even though it looks low quality, you want to make it as high as quality in the first place as possible. So you want to put 1080p, 60fps, and about 4 minutes to allow all the, allow your footage to be seen. So tap OK, and you're starting. So in your composition, you're going to um, grab the clips that you have um, you have you been using, and drag them in here. Wait for them to get in there. And what you're going to do, you're going to um, put the sound in and the video in. So when you're um, starting out with edits, when you're starting out with editing, you want to put as little um, video sounds possible. It's only when you're really advanced when you can use this stuff. So you're going to tap L. To get to audio and you're going to drag it all the way to negative 192, that's as low as it can go. So once you're done with that, you're going to um, listen to the music, and when you find the place that you want, then cut it. So it's like, that seems like a good place to go. So we do here, we uh, tap the sound thing, editor right here, and then we do Alt, right bracket, it's um on the right side of the keyboard beside above Enter. So once you do that, you're going to drag it right here into the beginning and do that. So next up, if your video is when, was in 720p, you're going to tap, you're going to click the little outside board and tap Shift to pull it out into the big area. So once you do that, you're done right for now. So once you have everything you wanted to edit started, um, you're going to go here and tap New and Null Object. This thing called Null will control the video and tell it to spin and stuff. So you're going to get the parent thing right here, which tells it, which will tell this thing, which which tells Null to control the video. And there you go. The parent is at Null one. So once you do that, you're um, good for the first part of transitions. So the first transition we're going to try out is called the spin. So the spin is when it's going to, when the when the object's going to rotate. Uh, it's going to rotate into the into the space that you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in by tapping these little mountains right here. The bigger mountains, not these little ones. So once you tap into enough, you're going to see where like, it won't move so fast. This little red guy right here, it will move a little faster. So once you do that, you're going to tap this little stopwatch once you do the little arrows to under transform and null, and you're going to tap it. It's looking up this little polygon right here, which will, um, which will mark and tell the video that you want the rotation to be at zero. So once you go out a little far away, like uh, right here, maybe in between half, you're going to tap the little polygon again, and you're going to put it at 230. 
Once you do that, you're going to go only a teensy bit over and then go to negative 230. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to put 0 so it returns back to its normal position. So now if we look at it, it doesn't look really good. That's because everything is moving at once and it doesn't give itself time to uh, think and everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap the Simpsons or whatever you're doing and you're going to tap F4 to bring it to this menu. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do motion blur. It's these li three little circles right here and you're going to do that and do that. It won't put motion blur in the actual video. It's only going to put motion blur on the things you edit in here. So once you do that, you can see that works, but it doesn't work really well. So you want to um you going now you want you're going to want to manipulate these these um things they told it to do. So once you uh, you're going to get outside, you're going to hide all these you're going to tap F9. What this is going to do is it going to is that you can go to a graph editor and change the way it looks. So like we want to anticipate the spin. So um, when we get in here, you zoom in here so you can look at this more closely. You're going to tap this little square right here, and you're going to see these little um, pullout tabs. Okay. So when you see these pullout tabs, you're going to pull this one right up here so that it will um, slowly climb up and boom it happens so now to uh, make it even more like that you're going to drag the top pull tab down so it's going to be like like that alright so once you do that you're going to you're going to do the same right here you're going to pull this towards that middle place and pull that closer and you're going to see it's working. Now this doesn't look really good because we didn't put it in sync with the music. Music is the most important thing about lo-fi edits. So when you um, see this thing right here and it doesn't look right, so we want to move it somewhere else. So let's move it right here and let's try it again. So it kind of works, but we want a little sooner. So we drag it a little this way, and we try it again. Now that work. Now it works. So once you figure out the place that you need to do it, you let it go like that. So now we're going to put motion tile. What this does is um, it will make multiple screen, multiple versions of this around it. So when you spin, it, there's no black bars, except if you but if you do have black bars around right here, you're going to it's going to put the same bars beside it. So you need to pay attention to that too. But I don't really care about it because it looks it, lo it looks pretty cool. So I'll keep it like that. So you're going to effects and presets, which is right here, and you're going to put motion tile or whatever or whatever view you chose, and you're going to add this by tapping double clicking it and you know, add it. So right now it's not going to do anything. If you look at if you look out here, you still see these black bars. So what you're going to do is you're going to do is you're going to go to output width. You're going to put up 400. Same with output height. So once you do that, you can see that it's the same thing all around. So that's exactly what you want. So when you do this, it looks great. So um. Now we figure out how to do that. We're going to talk about how to cut footage to your to your um, pushes. So a uh, tip to use is that when you see a moment that you want to happen, like you want to see a good cool moment in a video, you can um, switch to it in the middle of a transition. So like like we talked about earlier with the bear, we can just go over here. Right when he starts um, going from the dream part. So let's wait for him to happen right there. So when we see that happening, we're going to move a little forward because we're a little forward. And right where it spins, we're going to 
uh, we're going to cut that using the alt right black bracket. So we'll cut again. So it looks cool right now. So it looks good right now, so we'll leave it as that. Now you're gonna look now most of this stuff is musical cues. So if you hear another change in music that you that sounds great, you want to add a transition to that so people can feel the music. So you go here, and there we go. So we like I want to move right there. So let's add another effect. The next effect will be scale. Scale will move the will move the um move the screen forward and backward according to what you want. So let's say you want to move in like really big so that it'll give a more dramatic effect. So go out here and move it back to 100%. Don't put it at zero because that'll make it nothing. So once you do that, we're going to do what we learned before and circle all these and put F9. Once you do that, you're going to put your thing right here and put the mountains in and do what we did before. Grab your little tabs pull them right where you need them. Alright, so let's get out of graph and let's check it. So that didn't look really good. Now this is, could be one of two situations. Either you didn't put it in the right position or it wasn't dramatic enough. So if let's say it wasn't, we don't think it was close enough. So we get right here and we pull it even more once that's even more done, we go out and we check it again. So um, you just now most of lo-fi is just editing and figuring out what places you messed up. So um, if you look right here and you say you want it to be even closer, just, just move it as close as you can. Move the top tab in some more, and when um. When you can't do anything else, you will just um, pull these tabs closer to um, as a final measure. So let's see what happens. Now let's put the effect we did before and um, search for some footage. So. To split this com to split this footage this mm, to split the footage really fast, all you do is click Control Shift D. Now you're going to go here. You want to go out so you can look at the stuff. If you already did the transitions, you and and take you really should do it before you do the transitions. That's the best way to do it. So um, let's go over here and. So we don't like this part, so we'll just go here and okay, let's do this part. So let's move it, cut that, delete that, and move it back here. If you don't now, um, if there's something you didn't like, you can always go ahead and edit it back. So let's say I like this part better. I'll just go here, delete that one from earlier, and drag this to that time we moved. And from there, it's pretty easy. So once you figure out how to um, edit, the, edit that clip correctly, you can just go ahead and do the same things to everything. So just uh, go here, split a clip, Move it somewhere. Alright, that's pretty cool. And there we go. Let's move right here. So now we're back here, we can just um, preview what we've done so far. Let's try it all again. So like I said, it's just a bunch of trial and error, pull this closer, try it again.
there we go. And that's basically how you make an edit. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Like and subscribe. And goodbye.